What's good, Master Duel Central? So if you guys watched my video from yesterday, you might think I absolutely think Cash Tira is unplayable, super terrible. Uh, keep in mind, during that stream, it was like 2, 3 a.m. So I was more so upset that they weren't like a high enough power level to be like a really competent pure deck. But they're still good. Don't get me wrong. The cards are still really good, even in their own right. Uh, the Cash Tira names are really solid, especially Fenrir and Unicorn. And what I have here is a build that I need to shout out Pitta Sauce for helping me build. I took his list and I kind of modified it after some testing, adjusted it to my liking. And this is Cash Tira Punk. And I genuinely think this might be the best way to play Cash Tira right now in the game. It's really interesting. So the thing is, Cash Tira and Punk, it's not like there's like a, a Punk card that will outright search your Cash Tira cards. But there are some really good enablers. The main enabler that's really helping you out here is the Zombie Vampire. So if you guys are at all familiar with the Punk combo, uh, oftentimes you'll want to go Chaos Ruler, and then you'll use a Chaos Ruler and bring back a level 8 from your grave with Deer Note. So bring back the Foxy Tune, and you'll go into Zombie Vampire. So you can actually use the Zombie Vampire uh, to special summon Kashira Unicorn from your grave so that you can search a Birth, and then Birth can special summon from your grave the Kashira Fenrir, with Fenrir, you can search the Rice Heart. So the deck has a lot of versatility. And honestly, my climb has been really easy in Diamond since I started playing this today. But yeah, this deck has been super insane. So I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with these cards, we'll do a card by card at the end of the video. But first, we're going to go for that rank up game. Then I got some replays. And if I can't get like a really solid combo in that rank up game, we're going to go to solo mode before ending the video, just so that I can show you like a more in-depth combo utilizing the uh, Zombie Vampire and stuff like that. But before we get into all that, quick word from our sponsor okay guess who's sponsoring this video i'm giving you three seconds one two raid shadow legends i'm sure you're already familiar with raid but let me introduce you to one of its toughest challenges the hydra picture this six heads each a boss in its own right the head of suffering a tank that knows how to share the pain the head of decay turns your healing against you the head of wrath weakens and provokes your crew the head of torment dishes out true fear on your champions the head of blight a nightmare of poison leeching and that impenetrable poison cloud defense last but not least the head of mischief this sneaky head snatches your buffs and steals them for his own brethren. Each head works together to make this fight incredibly challenging and make the reward all the more worthwhile. And speaking of challenges, don't miss out on Hydra Clash. Compete with four other clans to see who can smack the Hydra the hardest. There's sweet rewards on offer too, so best rally your clanmates and get ready. Oh, and for the newcomers, Stagnite, one of the best epic champions, is up for grabs with a sick skin designed by Jontron. Just use the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. Even if you're not new, you can still snag these rewards through an in-game event. With all this awesome stuff coming to raid, what are you waiting for? You should install Raid now. And by using my link in the description or scanning my QR code, you can get some insane bonuses. We're talking an epic champion Talia from the prestigious Sacred Order faction, plus other fantastic rewards to give your journey a nice little boost. You can find me in the game under the name of Jimmy underscore MDC. So make sure to hit that link, grab your bonuses and join me. Install Raid now and help me achieve our install goal together. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a nice W. I put my thing down here because uh, I'm trying a different shape for my camera and I noticed I was blocking the field spell zone. So we're going to try it down here. If you guys don't like it, let me know. I'm trying to find the perfect spot to put my face in these videos. I mean, going second with Maxi in hand is not bad. I think I'm going to try to play around Triple Tactics Talon. I'm just going to go for it right now. I'm just going to shoot it. Just gonna shoot that maxi, see if we can get lucky, and they had the ash. Okay. Still not a terrible hand, but if we're if we're facing like a full combo tier deck that just goes off, like we're probably losing with a hand like this. Um, alright, Merly. So it is tier limit. Seeing a lot of this right now. Mill, Rhino Heart, and a Shuffler. Did they have a target for Rhino Heart? Let's see. Oh my goodness! L luckiest player alive? Luckiest player alive or something? What the? All right, so it, uh, this is what it's going to be. We're going to go Foxy Tune. Going to discard the snow, of course. Yeah, we're going to discard the snow. I mean, even if they ha if they Ash, we kind of like it, actually. So it's not that big a deal. Let's go Ziamine here. If they Ash, we kind of like that, actually. The Shuffler and Grave could be annoying. Not the end of the world. Whatever they do that lets us use this Triple Tactics Talent is good for us at the end of the day. So it's it's fine. We're going to go for a Shark Sai, I think. And we're going to try to go for the Carp line. So normal summon the Shark Sai. And we can kind of feed our graveyard to make that snow a bit more alive as well. That's not too bad. Even though they probably want to use their Shuffler at some point here. Uh, so let's make ourselves a Rising Carp. 
Next up, let's go for rising carp effect. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna grab the wagon, actually. We're gonna go for a wagon plus uh, deer note. So let's go wagon. Wagon can search your field spell. So we're gonna special wagon and we're gonna special deer note. Wagon, deer note. Then we can pay 600 with wagon to grab the field spell. I wonder what that chainable is. I know they have the shuffler, so that might be all they have. If so, they just got insanely unlucky. We're going to take advantage of that for sure. All right, grab ourselves a Punk Jam Extreme Sessions. Now, I do have to make a decision here. Do I want to go into the Punk Synchro? Or do I want to go Ball with Chaos Ruler? I think I'm going to go for Chaos Ruler, and we're going to Ball a little bit here. Might not be ideal, but... I still feel like it's the play. So, all right. So here we can go Chaos Ruler and we can actually chain block the Chaos Ruler with the Deer Note. So we can decide to bring back. We'll, grow, we'll go for the Foxy Tune here to bring back. It might have been smarter actually to, well, I don't know. Maybe bringing back the card would have been smarter so that they could not um, Beast Chill me if they have a Beast Chill. Either way here, they could use their Shuffler, but I'm not sure if they want to use their Shuffler right now because they might be trying to hold out. They might also want to wait for Chaos Ruler to resolve. Yeah, okay. So I guess that was a misplay on my part. I should have brought back the um, the Rising Carp to play around that. Um, yeah, I think we can afford to banish everything in our grave in that case. Let's go for Snow. Even though they're going to use their Shuffler, at least we'll get them to use it, you know? Because if they're just going to stop us from doing this anyway, we might as well do this. We can just stop them from using it. Oh my god, that is so so bad that is so bad okay well on the bright side we'll finally get to use our triple tactics talent so that is going to help a lot to be fair still pretty rough though not gonna lie not gonna lie the worst part is baldrake can actually send the Merly to the grave so that's not very good for us either oh god those mills were not it i mean we did mill a unicorn which is good because we can grab it back with Kashira birth yeah i should have probably just brought back that carp man that was a misplay for sure for sure. Yeah, let's go cash to rebirth. Let's just bring back that unicorn right now since we can. Ah, now they're going for their shuffler. Okay, so that's been dealt with as well. And you guys can kind of see why, like, it's kind of hard to showcase a full combo with this deck. Because um, it's very, like, game dependent. There's a lot of, like, interactions. The format is just kind of like that right now. It's not the kind of format where you play a bunch of flowcharty decks. Okay, they're taking an awful long time just to activate their shuffler. Okay, thank you. That was that was ridiculous. I'm going to draw two and see how lucky we can get here. This is not looking too good now. Yeah, that's not ideal. Uh, let's go to battle. Let's beat over Merly. Get it out of here. At this point, we're just kind of playing Chaos Ruler Control, honestly. I feel like that was such a massive misplay on my part. To be fair... With the Shuffler around, I couldn't really do anything about it anyway, so really my misplay might have just been to go for Chaos Ruler. And when I went to, for Chaos Ruler, I kind of forgot about the Shuffler. And in retrospect, probably would have been smarter to go for uh, Punk Jam Dragon Drive. <laughs> I only have an Ash to my name, but you know, they seem pretty bricked up too considering the start of the game, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, this guy's just not playing. What's going on here? Oh my god, Super Poly is nuts. Okay. Okay, okay. That's kind of crazy. Super Poly is kind of wild here. Is it for like a Garura? Okay, it's a Garura. It's 3,000 damage. If that last card in hand is not too good, we're going to be okay. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we already knew what that was. That's a... Okay. So that's not game. It's not game. I'm actually going to Ash that. This is 3,000, so that's 5,500 damage. It's not game. We have all game knowledge now. We know everything that they have access to. So next turn, we can kind of play around with uh, complete information, which is really good, actually. Also, the Cash Tira Birth is going to come in pretty clutch next turn because we'll be able to normal summon a Unicorn that we search. So we'll definitely be looking a, a bit better next turn. Even though we're on low life points, I'm feeling a lot better about this. Surely we're going to get our Master Rank this time. I mean, this guy's on end phase right now. I don't even know what he's looking at. He has no activatables whatsoever. Maybe he's thinking of Link summoning into a Link 2, making a Dark, but there's no target for Dark. I really don't see what it is. Just for that one draw off of Garura, really? Really? Yeah, they're going to Dark with no targets just for the one draw off Garura, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if that's really... Well, that might be the play just because... Oh, okay. No, never mind. It was not the play. They're probably going to scoop it up here. I mean, this is garbage, right? This is complete garbage. They already know I have Fenrir unless they forgot. Oh my god. Eteli is super stupid here. Okay, now now it's unlosable. Uh, we're going to start by special summoning Fenrir so that we don't... Because we need no monsters on the field to special summon it. 
Then we can go for Fenrir effect. Okay, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, we can grab a unicorn. We can normal the unicorn without tributing thanks to the effect of Cash Chira Birth. And uh, yeah, they're about to scoop pretty soon. We can go unicorn here, do a bit of deck thinning. Sorry, I just hit my mic. Do a bit of deck thinning. We're gonna grab ourselves a Cash Chira Birth. And we're gonna go emergency teleport. I mean, probably just go for a Xeomene again, right? Yeah, we're gonna go for Xeomene here. Because we already used our normal summon. Xeomene effect. Grab a Foxy Tune. I also will get a draw off of our Extreme Sessions. Not the best draw, but you know, we'll take it. And at this point, I think we can go for game. 5,000 ish. Yeah, yeah, so this is game pretty much. All right, so let's go Foxy Tune's first effect. Tribute the Xeomene to Special Summon the Foxy Tune. Kind of a scuffed game, but uh, we did we did win. We did win. Uh, we did deservedly win, right? So we'll take it. We'll take the W. We can even banish the um, the dark. So we already we we pretty much had game with any monster there. Gonna go for Fenrir effect, banish the dark, face down. Then we can redeclare the attack and just go for it. So yeah, not the best showcase of the deck, but we did get our master rank in this game. So, I mean, it, it, it accounts for something, right? I was on a five-game win streak. We were doing really good. Got to the master rank. I am going to take you the solo mode after, like, a funny replay or two. Just so I can showcase some more, like, in-depth combos. Because this deck does have some, like, cool combos. But it is kind of hand-dependent. It's mill-dependent with your Chaos Ruler and stuff. So I can't possibly cover everything. So I'm just going to give you some, like, interesting little plays that you can do there. Okay, so first off, we have this really funny replay that I really need to show you. Because, man... Like, Unicorn is a hell of a card, okay? But it should not be carrying this hard. So this is before I change my accessories. Please forgive me for that. You know, I forget that shit all the time. But yeah, this was kind of a brick. Like, this was a pretty bad hand. Uh, I did modify the deck a bit after this game, but I just needed to show this replay because it's so funny. So basically, we go Unicorn. Unicorn effect to search birth. They go Ash. Don't care. I already had birth in hand. I just wanted to bait some stuff out, right? So here we go. Okay, cool. You got it. <laughs> Unicorn effect, banish the Chaos Ruler from their extra deck. Here I normal summon Ash to go into Baron, and they go Max C. And then I realized I didn't even put the Baron in my extra deck, so it didn't even matter. So whatever, respecting Max C, I guess. Uh, here I'm going to activate Max C in draw phase. We're going to go for Ash Blossom on my Max C. You guys can kind of see, this is kind of a meme game, kind of a goofy game. It is in ladder, though. We were in Diamond 1 when this was happening. But since they activated Ash, I go for Unicorn. I get rid of their Romulus here to take away some of their consistency. They're going to go for Chaos Space, grabbing themselves a Collapse Serpent. And we get to trigger the Birth, banish three cards from their Grave. So they don't get to summon their Collapse Serpent because they don't have a Light in the Grave anymore. So yeah, then we draw to Branded Beast. I also removed this from the deck. Get another birth with my unicorn. I now run two uh, births because I don't think three is really good enough for, for a list like this. Uh, like, birth is a crazy card, but it doesn't have a lot of synergy with, like, punk cards and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we attack, do some more banishing. Here I banish one of their striker dragons. They have two. And it's my turn again. We're going to go for attacking. And we're going to banish the second striker dragon. We're just whittling down their resources in the extra deck uh this this was a really funny game because of that and i'm gonna activate the second birth here i don't know why i'm just like what if they pop one you know and that's the game it, i just thought it was a funny replay it's kind of goofy but yeah here you saw unicorn literally solo dragon link which is pretty goofy all right so here i'm gonna take you guys a little bit to solo mode just to showcase some different lines that you can do with the deck or at least just like go a bit more combo heavy because it's really like hand dependent and also game dependent if you're going to go for a combo or if you're just going to control the game with your bestials and your cash tier cards so here i mean this hand is kind of wild honestly this hand is pretty much perfect so let's just like combo off and i just want to show you guys you know different things you can do with the deck so first off obviously you're going to want to summon your unicorn uh, mostly because <laughs> once you have a monster on the field, you can't do that. So summon your unicorn, use unicorn, we'll be able to grab ourselves a cash tier of birth. Obviously, it'll give you a normal summon without having to tribute for a level 7 monster, but it's also like a monster reborn from your banished pile or your graveyard for any cash tier names, so that's kind of crazy. Then we can go for emergency teleport. Honestly, I don't think a hand can be better than this for this deck. This is like kind of ridiculous. I got kind of lucky on this, honestly. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go Xeomene effect here. And obviously, we're going to grab ourselves a Foxy Tune. So grab Xeomene, go Foxy Tune. Um, and we do get to use our Punk Jam Extreme get a draw. Oh my god. 
Okay, so now I have to... Dis well, okay, so I was going to special summon this from the deck with the Foxy Tune to not use my normal summon. But now the Shark Sai is in my hand. So I guess we're going to normal summon the Shark Sai and we're not going to use our normal summon off of birth. It's fine. Going to make ourselves the Rising Carp here. So, you know, use Shark Sai. Uh, we can... I guess we could use the Foxy Tune in hand since we're not going to use it. We can keep the Xeomine around. That's kind of cool. We'll keep it around. Make ourselves the Rising Carp. Very good. Very good. And we get ourselves another draw off of Jam Sessions. Draw into a Xeomine is not too bad. Here we can go Rising Carp Effect. Now, normally we would go for the Wagon, but we also have the Field Spell. So we're going to go for the Madame Spider and also for the Deer Note here. So go for these two. Very cool. Very cool. Let's search ourselves a Joruri Punk Dang. I don't even know the name, but basically this is Imperm for Punks. Uh, now it's a searchable imperm. That's literally all it does. So let's go chaos ruler here. Go chaos ruler uh, Chaos ruler effect. We're not going to use the Xeomine in the grave We are going to use the deer note however and deer note target the rising carp Don't make that misplay again want to play around the bestials rising carp is a water might as well bring back the rising carp if you can You know so bring back the rising carp here. We go one two three four and five sorry you guys couldn't see my deck so I clicked every card here and here we can add to our hand a Magnemut, that's really good, and mill the rest of the grave. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So, what's next for us? I mean, we ha we do have like a lot of plays that are open to us from here. So let's go for the Zombie Vampire here. I'll put Zombie Vampire in the extra monster zone. We don't use Link Monsters a lot, at least, especially not on our turn one in this deck. So uh, yeah, obviously detach the Chaos Ruler so you can bring it back later. Do a bit of milling, and oh, well, that's pretty good. We got ourselves a Kashira Rice Heart. So we'll special summon out the Kashira Rice Heart here. Or I guess I could have went for something else too because of the way this card works. But it's fine. We'll go with that. Uh, next, we can activate one of our Beast Chills. And I mean, you guys, at this point, you guys can kind of see just how far this deck can get. I think it'd be pretty cool to go for our Magnemut right now just to get a search on it. So let's go for it. And we can banish a card like a random <laughs> digital buff from our opponent's field, right? A uh, uh, graveyard, I mean. You know, just go Magnemut so we get a search for the end phase with it. Uh, we can special out the Lubellion using our Magnemut. This is really good. We're going to grab ourselves a Regained. Regained can get us an extra draw. Uh, an extra draw would be kind of nice here. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't say no to that. So, uh, wait. Is Regained in the grave? Oh, we milled the Regain. Okay, that's kind of sad. I'm not playing the Branded Beast, unfortunately. A good play that we have access to right now, since, uh, you know, we don't need the Magnemut anymore. We could go for the Chaos Ruler effect in the grave. Go for Foxy Tune Banish. Banish Magnemut. And, uh, you know, bring out the Chaos Ruler here. We can make a Hope Harbinger. Pretty good card. Since I thought we had... I didn't realize we milled the Regain. That's kind of sad. But yeah, we can make ourselves like a Hope Harbinger. That's pretty good. Uh, can't say no to that. Make ourselves a Hope Harbinger here. We can do a bit of banishing from our opponent's deck face down with the Rice Heart. Rice Heart's second effect does not lock you. It's only the first effect that locks you. So here we could like banish a Fenrir, for example, to banish a couple cards from our opponent's deck. And then we can actually go for the Birth. So we can go cash to a Birth to bring back that Fenrir. So let's bring Fenrir back here. The one we just banished. And we can use our Rice Heart as well as our Unicorn to make ourselves, say, a Shangri-Ra if you wanted to. You could also make a Diablosis. You won't be able to make two rank 7s this turn, so it, it would be really up to you. I mean, Shangri-Ra is still, like, pretty decent just because on, on standby phase, it's going to summon another Unicorn. So you're going to have Fenrir Effect and Unicorn Effect. So one way or the other, you're going to get to, like, at least lock 2 to 3 zones, which is not, like, amazing, but it can still be quite good, actually. Um, here though, in this case, I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna make myself like a Baron the Fleur using the Fenrir here. So I'm gonna go Baron with these two. Baron the Fleur for an Omni Negate. So you know we have like a spell and trap negate, we have a Baron the Fleur, Omni Negate. And then with these two, it's really up to you. I mean Shangri Era is cool. Uh, honestly, like Diablosis, you can't really sleep on Diablosis. Obviously, it wouldn't banish that many cards from your opponent's deck. It would only banish five more cards from the top of their deck. But that's still like five cards banished face down. Plus, you get to look at their extra deck and, you know, just snipe their stuff around. So, I mean, I think there's an argument to be made that it's actually quite good. One way or the other, I'm actually going to go for Shangri Era just because I really like that standby phase effect of just summoning a Kashira monster because it's just really good. I mean, the Kashira names, again, like Unicorn and Fenrir are just like good cards to have on the field they're they're good interruptions they're solid monsters and just getting that extra control from locking zones over time is still really good i mean we have a beast chill in hand you know uh, we could still play some more if we wanted to because we could go like punk jam extreme to summon the Xeomine from our hand here i don't really 
know why we would do that. I guess maybe just so we get the like life point boost from this, but that's really not that good. So we don't really need to do that. Uh, the bestial in hand, I'd rather keep in hand, honestly, in this particular scenario. But you know, let's give the digital bugs a chance here. Let's see what they're made of. So here, I'm I'm totally fine letting them try to out this. Also, we get our Magnemut in end phase. We can grab ourselves a Ball Drake just to make our hand even more disgusting, right? And this was all turn one, right? So obviously the the hand was perfect. But yeah, this is pretty nutty. And then, you know, in standby phase, we'll get our Shangri-Era effect. So, you know, you can choose between Fenrir or Unicorn. Uh, I guess like Unicorn could be like a better choice sometimes if you really want to take out a bomb, especially because there's a lot of tier limits going around. So like, obviously we're not facing tier limits, but I guess Unicorn technically could be better because you can get rid of that kit like early if you're lucky. Um, here they're going to go for Bug Matrix. That's a very scary card. So we're definitely going to negate that with Hope Harbinger uh, for sure, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, the interruptions we're setting up here, they're really not bad. And obviously, we didn't get a bunch of locked zones. This rank 7 could have been anything you prefer. But this is still pretty good. And here, we do get a banish off of Kashira Birth, which means we already are starting to lock a couple of zones down here with the Shangri-Era. So Shangri-Era effect, we're going to lock down a zone. Yeah, because if a spell card is activated while you control a Kashira monster, you actually get to trigger this, grave the this uh, I think it's the second or third effect of Birth, where you just banish three cards face down from your opponent's grave for no reason. Uh, here they're going to go for Verdant Sanctuary. I'm just going to Baron Verdant Sanctuary. Uh, this is one of the most busted field spells if you ask Gage in the game. So I don't even want to mess with it. It's pretty crazy. So we're going to negate the Verdant Sanctuary here. Anything else for us, CPU? or Yeah, yeah. So they're just passing it on that. I mean, fair enough. And uh, here on our own standby phase, we're still going to get to summon, again, another Kashira monster. So we're going to go for the Shangri-Era effect here in the standby and summon the Kashira Fenrir. And I mean, at this point, you can kind of see like... Like, it's back to us on turn three. This is nuts, okay? This is crazy. Like, come on. This is bonkers. Turn three and your board looks like this with two bestials in hand. Obviously, this was like the ideal hand. But still, I would say this is like, it's just insane. I don't need to show you the rest of the game here. We're just going to go into the card by card. I think you've seen enough. All right, this is the part of the video where I give you guys the card by card. It's also the part of the video where I ask you to please don't be a bot. Just like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. It helps me out tremendously. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by New Year's. I don't know if we'll do it, but it would be really cool if we did. So anyway, guys, without further ado, I mean, we have three Maxi, one Ghost Ogre, three Ash, one copy of Yukio Shark Side, basically, one copy of Wagon, one copy of Madame Spider, three Ziamine, one Snow, one copy of Rice Heart, one copy of Deer Note, one Magnumut, one Druid Swarm, one Ball Drake. Uh, don't at me on the bestial ratios, okay? I'm still still not sure what like would be the best ratios for this i do think like lubelion is just really good in this deck just because it helps to make rank 8 plays and stuff like that so i really want to keep the lubelion in the deck but i don't want to like overcrowd the deck either so that's why we're going with these ratios uh, obviously the two fenrir the three unicorn these cards are crazy uh three foxy tune one copy of ogre dance two copies of triple tactics one copy of extreme sessions one copy of branded regain double birth double emergency teleport triple imperm and one copy of the searchable imperm basically uh, in our extra deck, we have the Rising Carp, one copy of Chaos Ruler, one copy of Dragon Drive, one copy of Baron, one copy of Amazing Dragon. We've got our Psychic and Punisher, Big Eye. We've got our Diablosis, two copies of Shangri-Era, one copy of Hope Harbinger, one copy of Zombie Vampire, our AA Zeus, our Donner Dagger for Hire, if we need to out some weird stuff, you know, and just clear up some space on our own board, and a copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Overall, honestly... Really blown away with the strategy, and I'm actually really enjoying playing it. Honestly, like, it's kind of fun to play. So if you guys were looking for, like, a really solid way to play Kash Tira, since they're not really good as a pure deck right now, I genuinely think this is probably the best build for them. Uh, some people would say, like, Tier Cash, but that's really just throwing Kash Tira names, like a couple Kash Tira staples into Tier, right, and calling it a day. I feel like this deck does let Kash Tira shine a little bit better, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty terrifying stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. Support. That's going to be it for me. Peace.